And our second main topic today gets submitted to us by Edward McMillan, McMillian, who writes, Hey, John and Rob, I'm a big Kevin Smith fan, me too, and love basically all of his movies, even Red State. But obviously my favorites are his Clerks movies and Chasing Amy. I love Chasing Amy. Uh, did you see that the dream is now real? And Clerks 3 is finally officially happening with Lionsgate behind it. What do you think about this? And are you excited for the third installment? All right. Thanks a lot for sending that in, Edward. And listen, I am a, a big Kevin Smith fan on two different levels. Number one, I'm a fan of his films. My favorite of his films is actually Clerks 2. Clerks 2 is a movie that is actually a very, very special place in my heart because the theme of Clerks 2 was about like, do you move away to pursue your own like career goals and things like that? But if it means taking you away from your, from your friends, from your, your social circles, what's more important. And that movie came out right as I was facing that kind of dilemma in my life, Rob, when I was trying to answer those questions for myself, because I had a job offer, but it meant moving away from a lot of very dear family and, and, and friends and things that people that I loved. And this movie came out and was raunchously funny but also incredibly touching at the same time. I love that movie. But I'm also a big fan of Kevin Smith as just a storyteller. Like, he's one of the best guys in Hollywood, Rob, to just put him on a stage and hand him a microphone. Just let him go. And he tells stories like nobody else. Like, the guy is a seriously entertaining storyteller, and I love it. But listen, because of my love of Clerks 2, I've always wanted to see a Clerks 3. And there's been a lot of whispers and rumors off and on that, oh, Clerks 3 is happening, but we've been hearing that for years and then nothing. I was like, okay, now Clerks 3 is going to happen and then nothing. Well, now it really is happening because they've got themselves a major distributor in a Lionsgate. This comes to us from the folks at Deadline who write the following. Kevin Smith has written the screenplay and will direct with all major cast members from the first two Clerks films set to reprise their roles. Jeff Anderson as Randall, Brian O'Hall, or I always mispronounce his name, O'Halloran as Dante, Jay Muse as, as Jay, Smith as Silent Bob, and this is the important one, Rosario Dawson as Becky. I loved her in Clerks too. Anyway, <laughs> the film will be produced by Liz uh, Destro and Jordan uh, Monsanto in Clerks 3. Following a massive heart attack, Randall enlists Dante, Elias, Jay, and Silent Bob to make a movie immortalizing his life at the convenience store that started it all. All right, that comes to us from the folks over at Deadline. Okay, so I'm a little bit torn, Rob. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm a little bit torn. Uh -oh. Because on the one hand... I, because of my love of Clerks 2 and the special place that holds in my heart, and oh my God, Rosario Dawson in that movie is like the ultimate teen boy dream girl in that. Like, I, I love Rosario Dawson in that. Anyway, so been dying to see a Clerks 3 for a long time. So yay, and I read that Lionsgate's going to distribute it. Yay, I'm excited. But Rob, I got to admit, that synopsis sounds terrible. I don't know why Kevin Smith right now is on this kick that all of his movies have to be about trying to get a movie made. Like, even when you go back to his latest Jay and Silent Bob things, like they're trying to stop a, a stop a movie getting made and all this kind of stuff. Now, this one's about them trying to get a movie made. And I'm like, I. And, and by the way, the last Jay and Silent Bob thing was terrible. I hated that movie. And I love Kevin Smith. I love Kevin Smith. But. I thought that was terrible, and I do not like the sounds of this at all. Now, listen, it's just a synopsis. It's just a premise. Maybe he's going to execute it and write it brilliantly, and it's going to be awesome, and I'm going to hold out hope for that. But, Rob, I, I got to be honest with you. I read the synopsis, and I had some of the wind taken out of my sails a little bit. I don't like the sounds of it, but I love the sounds that all the cast is coming back. I love that Rosario Dawson's back. I love that we're going to get to meet these guys again 20 years, however long it's been since Clerks 2. So I'm going to stay and choose to remain enthusiastic, even though I have my doubts about that synopsis, until we see something a little bit more. Rob, Clerks 3 is officially coming. Did you ever think they would finally actually get it off the ground and get this partnership? And what do you think about the sounds of the synopsis? Well, one, I didn't think they would get it off the ground because it's, you know, for me, you have to ask yourself, okay, uh, why would anybody still be doing the job in a convenience store they were doing like 25 years ago or something? Why would they even have an attachment to it? Is that store even still there? Um, but that said, 
You know, one of the movies that I was most dubious about that turned out to be one of my favorite sequels ever made was T2, Train Spotting 2. Mm. And the way they went back to those characters and dealt with them. And, you know, I think there's a lot of great material to be mined here. And yet, like you, the idea of making a movie about your experiences, it's even in Kevin Smith's oeuvre, it's a little well-trodden ground already. But I'm willing to give it the benefit of the doubt because I, too, am a fan of Kevin Smith's work. And, um, you know, I really like, say, Chasing Amy. I like Dogma. Um, there's a lot of things that that he's made that I've enjoyed. So I'm hoping I'm, – I'm always pulling for someone, John. I'm always uh, pulling for him to turn out something great. And the fact that Lionsgate's putting it out uh, gives me a little bit of hope. Clearly, they they already read the script and they know what they're getting into. So it gives me hope that it could be a good movie. Absolutely. Question is for you guys. What do you think about the sounds of this? I'm a, like I said, I'm a little bit torn. I love that they're finally going to do a Clerks 3. I don't love the synopsis, but hey, let's reserve judgment until we see something. How are you guys feeling about it? Jump down into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts.